What's going on, LUW? It's your boy, Hurt. I'm doing media for tonight's episode of Hurt House. Heard exclusively on True Radio Network tonight on Hurt's House. We'll be talking about the Redskins trade one week later. Did Redskins fans overreact? We'll be talking about the Super Bowl. Philadelphia finally won a ring. And we'll be talking about the direction of WWE. How good was the Women's Rumble? And how bad, potentially, can the Women's Chamber match be? That's tonight on Hurt's House. Enough of the shameless plugs. I'm still in the media mode. I've done a couple of different podcasts for people this morning. I got two more guest appearances ready, left, whatever. I'm here to introduce you all to the 2018 Hurt Fade List. Now, I know what you're saying. You're going, Hurt, how you going to have a list? I just got a list. Uh. The difference between my list and Onyx's list is Onyx compiles his list as he goes. My list is already complete. I'm just crossing names off, and I don't care if I win or lose. They're just things I want to do before I leave LUW. Now, we're going to start with this, okay? This is the Brian Carr fade list. This is like my real life, my real life fade list. Like people who really going to catch these hands while I see them. Um, number one, it's a guy, you don't know him. His name is Ked. He tags me entirely too much. He tags me entirely too much. He tagged me in a spoiler for Ring of Honor, um, a couple weeks ago. And he gonna catch that fade when I see him. Um, my daughter's on here cause I was on the phone with her and she, I told her to do something. She told me no. Um, her mom's on here because she Puerto Rican. So we stay beefing every now and then. Um, my stepbrother, He's probably going to catch it for real. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the LEW version of this list. Now, during my run here last year, I wrestled. I was on Raw. Their shows were split. So there were a lot of people I didn't get to wrestle. Some people on my show I didn't get to wrestle. I was kind of stuck in this little circle of the same five or six guys. And then it was just me and Higher Gun like, Higher guns down the list because I've already done that. Uh, I've already beaten City P. Um, I'm not uh, against those guys, but, you know, I've been there and done that. I'm not going to be around for that much longer, like y'all said, six months. Unless I resign. These are the people I want to get to before I go. There's only one person on this list I've already fought. Number one on the list, Saint. I defeated Saint last year. He came to my show and he beat me. And I feel like because of how strong he was and he became the number one guy in the company after TakeOver left, I owe him a rematch. So Saint, at some point, we can do that. Number two, player one. We was bumping heads last year all the time. You were on the sidelines, I was in the ring, then you was in the rings, and I was on the sideline, now we're both in the ring. I'm going to wait until that business with you and Chaos is done because that looks amazing. But at some point in time, we got to come together so I can show you what I owe you. Number three, Rio. Word to God, this list was already done. So Rio, as of last night, off the list. Rio off the list, and instead I'm going to write save the tag division with a question mark. Save the tag division with a question mark. You guys have some strong champions right now. I'm not going to lie. I've never seen LUW champions this strong. So save the tag division. Maybe, you know, singles division is pretty strong. Number four. Bully, bully, I tell you all the time that you were protected from me last year. I, I think you think I say it just to say it. If you don't believe me, just ask. See, last year, Eddie didn't want me facing you because he was trying to develop you into what you are right now. Little did he know I wanted to face you because I wanted to develop you into what you are right now. Either way, you got there. But... 
I know you're doing the the hiding the whole thing, but at some point in time, we gonna have to you gonna have to catch this fade. Number five, coveted keeper, not a liar or a faker, promise maker, and that's the truth. So help me, three musketeers. One of my favorite guys from last year. I never got to face him. We were on opposite shows. I hope that happens at some point. Number six. Hey, Jen. How you doing? You're like every woman I've ever met in my life. You're dealing with all these losers, 29 losers, and you wonder why you can't get no satisfaction. When you're done dealing with those losers, you come talk to me, and you and I can make some beautiful, dimply, main event babies together. I just want for the record that Jen's number six and Kiki is number nine. Yeah, I'm terrible. Number seven, self-explanatory. Seven, you and I got to get it on without having those other people interrupting our match. So at some point, you and I are going to have to, we're going to have to do that thing. You shoot that fade. Number eight, chaos. I'm just a fan of his work. Again, after his business with Player One is done. Y'all already know who number nine is. Number 10, number 10 is never going to happen, but... It's on there anyway. Little hearts over the eyes. And now that you've lost your special secret weapon, who knows, right? <laughs> that is the Hurt Fade list for 2018. Do with that what you will. Again, I'll be crossing it off as I go. I will not be adding names to it or taking names from it. If it gets done, it gets done. If it don't, it don't. And I will see y'all soon.